This video covers the lab work, how to get a sample tested, and what's the process it goes through, but also more importantly, when you get the letter back, it'll explain what we found, and it will help you understand how to interpret what's in the letter, and what actions you should take on the base of it. We test three sorts of samples in the lab. The first one we test is larvae. So this is where a beekeeper ha has looked at a larvae, thinks it might be American farbrood, and needs the diagnosis confirmed. The second thing we test is adult bees to see whether they're carrying spores or not. And the third thing we test in the lab is honey. The thing that we don't test at the moment is we don't test pieces of comb, mainly because we don't know how diagnostic the results would be. So it's just those three things that get tested. So when you get the a larval result back, it'll either be positive or negative. If it's positive, i.e. it does have American fowl brood, that means the colony has American fowl brood, it has to be reported, and the colony has to be destroyed. If the result of that larvae is negative, though, it really just means that the larvae itself doesn't have American fowl brood. It doesn't mean that there's not another larvae somewhere else in the hive that might have American fowl brood. So where a positive result is diagnostic, a negative result doesn't really tell you about the whole hive. When we're testing bees, we're looking to see whether they're carrying American fowl brood spores and how many. And we know that the more spores they're carrying, the more likely you are to see diseased larvae inside a hive. The spores can appear on bees for a number of reasons. It might just be contamination that some bees have drifted into the colony from another colony that's got American fowl brood, in which case there'll be low levels of spores. Or it might be because there's diseased larvae in the hive itself and the bees are trying to remove it and getting contaminated. What we do is we count the number of bacterial colonies on the plate, and if there's over 100, then there's an 80% probability that the colony itself either has American fowl brood symptoms at the moment, or if you come back later and check it again, it will have disease, um, disease symptoms in it. So if you get a positive result on a bee test, the thing you should do is go out and inspect your colony, and then probably expect it again a few months later. When we test honey, again, we're looking for the number of American fallible bacteria we find in it. Honey is a little more complex to be able to analyze and to say what it means. Normally, the honey samples are sent in by commercial beekeepers, and they're representative of all the honey they've extracted. So it's quite often you might find one positive sample, and the rest of them will all be negative. And what it tells a commercial beekeeper is that they have taken honey off a colony with American fowl brood that they didn't know about. If they can trace the samples back to an apiary, then an inspection can be carried out and try to find it. But it also tells you year to, from year to year whether you're controlling the disease or not. If the number of samples or the, or the number of bacterial spores are increasing, then your disease is getting worse. If they're decreasing, then it's going the right way. It also helps us identify beekeepers with AFB problems who don't know that they've got American fowl brood problems. In this video, we've learnt what happens when you send a sample to a lab and how do you interpret the results. And I, the summary for that is, first of all, to make the lab testing easy, only send in um, suspect larvae or bees. Don't be tempted to send anything else in. Secondly, um, when you get the results back, if your test, if you've sent a larvae in and it comes back as being positive for American fowl brood, that means the colony has American fowl brood and must be destroyed. However, if you get a sample of bees and the results tested, sent back, if they're positive, it doesn't necessarily mean the colony's got American fowl brood. It means it's been exposed to American fowl brood, that it might break down. So the advice there is to keep an eye on it and to don't take anything from that hive and put it on another hive. Um, honey tests come in the same category. If you get a positive honey test, it doesn't mean the colony is infected. Um, it just means that it may be exposed, have been exposed to American fowl brood. But probably the best piece of advice when you get a bee sample or a honey sample that tests positive, go back and do a thorough check for clinical symptoms and 
Do that on a regular basis until you can be absolutely certain that the colony is disease free.